Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Kirk Hammett's first solo in Blackened. Uh, and then the next lesson we'll take a look at his second solo. Alright, so this one's, uh, as Kirk Hammett a lot did in this era, uh, all over the place. So you got some work cut out for you here. So we're going to start here, um, uh, pretty simple actually. We're going to start with uh, just sliding into the 5th fret on the B string. And to play five, seven, eight on the B string four times. Then five, seven, and after that seven, slide up to the twelfth fret, and then play thirteen. Then play thirteen again, and then we have this little sequence. Little sequence. So that's just. Uh, 12, 10, 12 on the B. Then 10, 8, 10. And then play 8, 7, 8. Then 7 on the B to 9 on the G. Back to 7 on the B. So this. Then 9, uh, 7, 9 on the G. And you're going to end this sequence. Now it's going to play 7, 6 on the G, then pick 7 again and pull off to 6, to 7 on the D, pick it and slide into 9. Alright, the next phrase looks like this. I'm just going to play that much of it because it kind of repeats a sequence here. So. So that's coming out of on the G string here. We have six, seven, six. Going to hammer, pull back off to seven on the D. I mean, sorry, nine on the D string. Then six, seven, nine on the G. Then seven, eight on the B. All right. Then we kind of repeat that sequence again. Uh, just with different notes. So we're higher up in the scale. So we have. So that's hammering the 7 8 on the B, hammering pull to 9 on the G, then 7 8 11 on the B. A little bit of a stretch. To 7 9 on the high E string. So you can see those are the same sequence, same pattern. And then. So it's easier to kind of break these solos down when you can see the patterns within it. All right, now we have this. Not a real pattern to that. So it's just kind of chaotic. I think he's actually setting up for the tapping part there. Uh, so it makes the notes uh, be a little bit disjointed. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a quick little hammer pull from seven to nine on the high E. Pull back up to seven to nine on the um, B string. I'm sorry, 11 on the B. Then 7, 9, 10 on the high E. Go all the way up to 12 now. And pull off, and there's an, uh, he pulls off down to, or it slides down to 11. So it's probably, uh, it's, it's really quick. So it's kind of probably not something he intended to do, but it sounds like this. And then we're back to 9, 7 on the high E. To, 11 on the B, then up again, those four notes, 7, 9, 10, 12. All together for that measure. Now, he probably taps with his middle finger. I, you know, I haven't really tried to watch him do it. Um, you can just, it just happens pretty quick. You're probably going to have to tap with your middle finger unless you can really quickly switch your pick. Um, to hold it in a different place so you can grab, uh, just tap with your index. Either or, you're going to be tapping here at the 19th fret three times on the high E string. And this, the pattern will be this, tap, pull off to the 9th fret, and then hammer 12. So that's a three note pattern. So you're going to repeat that three times. Uh, 
Now we're going to do this pattern some more, but now we're going to move down two frets in the left hand and move down one fret to the 18th fret in the tapping hand. So the same three note pattern done three times there. Now we can continue the pattern, but you're going to move the fret hand down one fret, keep the picking the tapping hand where it's at, 18th fret. So that was done three times. So we have this so far. Now we're going to move over to the B string. You're going to tap the 18th fret on the B, and you're going to be hammering 8 to 12 on the um, B string with your left hand. So that's done three times as well. So all together. Now you're going to move the tapping down to the 17th fret, and it gets um, a little bit um, kind of random here. What he's doing is just messing around with the 17th fret tap and doing 7, 8, 10 in the, um, in the left hand. So we have the, sometimes we'll do the full pattern. What he's basically doing is tapping as pretty much as fast as he can and just and doing legato in the left hand. Then he takes it over really quick to, to, to the G string. Tap the 17 one on the G, once on the G, and then just do a pull off nine to seven, back to the nine. So he's gonna hold on to that one on the B string a lot longer than the other ones, but it's more of a random effect. Uh, the actual pattern stops there though at this part. And so all together for the tapping. Alright, and now we get back to some melodic content. Sounds like this. Alright, so that's a bar, uh, bend at the 17th fret of the B string. A couple of bends. Then a bend and release. Pull off to 15 and back to 17. So, what is this? And then, then that's a quick little hammer, pull back off the, from 15 to 17, slide down to 14. Back to the 15th fret there on the beat. So we have this. Then pull off 15, 14, and play 16, 15 on the G string. All right, now we go up to the bend on the high E string at the 19th fret. That's just a couple of bends in 19, 18, then 15, 14, 15 on the high E string. Then you're going to pull off 15, 14 real quick, over to 17 on the B. And then you're going to do a pull off again, but this time slide 15 to 17 on the B into the 14th fret on the high E. So we have this. When you get there, now we're going to start another pattern here. So that is pulling off 18 to 14 on the high E, over to 17 on the B. And just repeat that. And you're going to end it with the 19th fret on the high E, just slid down. Alright, so that takes care of his first solo. Stay tuned in the next lesson, we'll take a look at his second guitar solo in Blackened.